Okay, guys. 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 Okay,
of k equal to 1 point because the radius of the r circle r equal to 0 circle is 1 so this point k value is 0 when k value is 0 it shows that your load and characteristics immense they are equal it means we have got the matching condition and that's why in the given option q point is the matched load so p is short circuit r is open circuit and q is the matched load and note that the another important point it is given in the problem is they have given normalized impedance chart what is this normalized impedance and normalized admittance chart difference see we derived in the first lecture this particular point is short circuit and this particular point is open circuit and from now we got this is the Q matched load and this is for the normalized impedance chart if I want to know the points of normalized admittance point it is simple as what we did in the problem your impedance and admittance they are 180 degree opposite or inversely proportional or after lambda by 4 distance will reach impedance to admittance and admittance to impedance because YL is equal to 1 by ZL ZL is equal to 1 by YL inversely proportional so watch my previous videos to get clear understanding of this so this point will come over here and this point will come over here for admittance chart for impedance chart whatever the points we got here that will come to the right side and whatever the points we got on the right side that will come to the left side as this so all these points for the normalized impedance point will come to right side portion and whatever the point we marked on the Smith chart from in the right side that will come to the left side portion this is the difference between normalized impedance point and normalized admittance point so if it is normalized admittance point kindly watch that which one would come for the um, <clears throat> answer if it is a normalized admittance chart see this is short circuit and this is open circuit this is matched load for normalized admittance chart option B is the right answer but as of now the problem is normalized impedance chart so option C is the right answer Thank you.